back with our uh, weekly blogs. We had to take a, uh, a couple of weeks off, uh, but we are back. And I just wanted to spend a few minutes sharing with you from my heart about a topic um, regarding what I'd like to call the hierarchy of my identity. I was reading the Bible and in 1 Corinthians 2 and 2, Paul says, I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And he speaks of that in the context of the quarrels in the Corinthian church about how they were divided, who supported Paul and who supported Apollos and, and who supported Cephas and who supported Jesus. And there were divisions among them about who they supported. And it reminded me of the culture that we're living in now. We are living in a culture of uh, class warfare and class division. We're living in a culture where it's uh, black against white, men against women, Democrat against Republican, rich against poor, and even church against church and denomination against denomination. And it is taking the focus off of uh, who we ought to be as Christians and who we ought to be as uh, men and women of God. And it began me, it, 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 I began to think about who I am. And uh, as I thought about it, I thought about the top four, top four or five things that I would identify myself as. Number one, I am a Christian. Above all things, I am a child of God. And before I pledge my allegiance to anything and anyone, I pledge my faithfulness to Jesus Christ as the Lord of my life. Number one, I am a Christian. Number two, I am a future husband. Uh, and that is the next most important role in my identity. And as a future husband, it is my anticipation to be a father, number three. And as I prepare to be married, I also prepare myself for the role of father when that happens. And then number four, I am a minister. I am a, uh, a, a loudspeaker for the word of God. I'm, I am a preacher. And when I think about those things, all of those things have clear uh, biblical roles, a lot of us, especially in the black community, want to identify with being black. And as proud as we ought to be of our heritage, I am every day reminded that when I face, when I fall face to face with God in heaven, he is not going to judge me based on how I voted or what race agendas that I supported. He's going to judge me based on how I lived my life as a Christian. He's going to judge me how I treated my wife. Did I love Christ as he loved the church and gave himself forward? He's going to judge me based on how I raised my children in the way that they should go so that they would not depart from it and my commitment to my family. He is going to judge me based on how I shared the word of God with accuracy and with passion to, uh, to lead people to Jesus Christ. And, and when I face God in heaven, whether it be by death or by rapture, Jesus Christ is going to look through my race and look at my faith. And so my faith trumps my race 100 fold. And as much as I identify myself as an African American and I am proud of my heritage, when I walk the walk and when I live the life, I have to live the life of a Christian in order for me to live the life of a, uh, of, of a good husband, in order for me to live the life of a good father, in order to live the life of a good minister, I have to live the life of a good Christian. And that reminds me of the, all of the different warfares that this society is, 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 is fighting with that we hear about on the news, all of the race wars and all of the gender wars and all of the religious wars. And I have made up my mind that when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to know anything else about you. I don't want to know anything about uh, 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 your agenda. 
but Jesus Christ and him crucified. And if you don't know Jesus Christ and him crucified, then that is the primary context of our conversation. And then we can talk about politics, and then we can talk about race, and then we can talk about gender, and we can talk about all of those other things. But the priority in my life is my faith, and the priority of my walk is my faith. That is the hierarchy of my identity. God bless you. We'll see you next time.